Okay, guys. Okay, boys. Let's head back in with slot number one. Do I just click it? Or how the hell do I do this? Maybe I click. Maybe the mouse doesn't work. Maybe I just press one. I just press one. There we go. Okay, boys. Um, alright. I don't remember what we were doing. We obviously came back up to drop stuff off. Um, I assume we we completed that task. We have these potions of booze that we don't need and potions of blindness we don't need. Let's just drop that shit. Drop C to enter. Yup. Drop D to... Oh, it won't be... Oh, shit. Let's get that back. Drop C. There we go. Let me turn it back up a little. I have no sound in my head at all. Alright, man. We're doing a lot better than we were the first time. That first time may truly have been a fluke. I've had a lot of people chime in on uh, on YouTube saying that they've encountered floating eyes and been paralyzed like our guy was like that before. I've I played an awful lot of Moria, a lot awful lot of Angband, an awful lot of Angband variants, and I've never had it happen once. Not even stunned for like a turn by one of them, let alone stun locked and killed. But apparently everybody knows they're vicious. Go figure. Died singing drunk. Hey, 40 gold, thanks. <laughs> I'm a titan, man, what do you expect? Um, I don't remember, if we, do we have word of recall up here? Is that how we got here, or did we just come up the stairs? We probably just came up the stairs. I don't think we have any words of recall. Should we go check for some? Do we have what what do we have at all? We have one scroll of phase door. We have our whip that is good that I'm looking forward to, you know, experiencing in its fullest, but um without a scroll of identify, we can't do anything about that. I've already forgotten. That's a hall of records. Don't know what a hall of records is for. Pawnbroker, I assume, is just so you can sell things if you can't uh, find the right place to sell it, I guess. I don't know. That door's locked, whatever the hell it is. What are these dudes again? They're vampire fucking shopkeeper. This is terrifying. Black market. Potion healing too expensive. Ring of Sea Invisible, man. If we could afford that. Jesus, would that be nice, eh? Ring of Sea Invisible. That'd be great. It's really hard to read this fucking text against this backdrop, my god. This is the worst chosen backdrop ever. Just make it black, man. Just make the backdrop black. It's kind of hard to say ten times fast. Backdrop black, back, backdrop, backdrop black. Couldn't get through three times. I don't see anything here we need. Unless we want that tasty, tasty apple. Just, just double check for any more arrows. Nice some arrows. Let's purchase F. Whoops, I didn't mean to buy one, but alright, fine. Yes. Purchase F. Let's buy 11 more. No, uh. 7 more. This is to bring us back to 20. Alright, we have 20 arrows. I guess we're going down, guys. Oh, there's one last place to look. Oh, fuck off. White, white T. Oh, that's a, that's a child. You see what I did to your friend? Do you really want to be adopted by me? Magical cloak. I'd really rather have that ring of seeing. That ring of see invisible. Alright, we got everything we need, man. Let's just... Do we still have a lantern? Are we using a lantern? Yeah, we can see two squares, yes. Child, look out. You just need to step on him. I'm a fucking titan. I can't even see you down below my ankles. All right, here we go again. Let's um, let's dive. We're level eight. We can go down at least at least level three, if not four. Even with the knowledge that other people have had, uh, you know, such trouble with uh, floating eyes, I'm still a little baffled as to why my Cyclops had trouble with that novice warrior, the second Cyclops we made. I really loved the idea of playing a Cyclops for some reason. I don't know why. I guess just because I've never seen it in Angband. I don't know. But the Titan can be cool too, right? First staircase we see, we're going down. Let me get this uh, light, guys. A little bright in here. My eyes are rebelling. I can fix my my 
headset as well. Okay. Hopefully this headset microphone is in the right place. You're not hearing me uh, spike. You're hearing me clearly, and you're not hearing me swallow, as you sometimes can. These mics can be sensitive. Son of a gun, man. Give my character some enjoyment. No, don't quit. You silly thing. We still don't have a pick yet, do we? Nope. Not found one yet. Well, let us eat. Hey. <sighs> Hopefully, I'll recognize the stairs when I see them. And it, it, only I say that because I often um. Yeah, most of the time when I'm exploring a level, I'm not looking for stairs, so if I see them, I don't even mark them. It's like, they're irrelevant. I'm exploring the level. So it's possible to walk right by them now and not acknowledge that they're right in front of me, you know? I'll try not to do that. I, um... I only share this because I find it fascinating. My... For some reason, Tonya was completely unimpressed with the following information, but I thought it was cool. Um, I got up this morning at 6... Uh, late for me, like... Well, late for me in the past. Now that I'm going to bed after midnight, it's becoming more common. But uh, 6.20, 6.30 in the morning. Um, I went to the kitchen to make coffee, and the lights were still out, and I looked up in the sky, and it was a beautiful starfield sky. Gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous enough that it arrested my attention for a minute. Um stole my attention, and um, there were a bunch of small twinkling stars, but there were also, uh, there was also one particularly bright star, and as I was watching it, everything was stationary, I was watching it, all of a sudden that star began to fall directly towards the earth, I'm like, holy shit, is that a, is that a literally a falling star, um, like a shooting star, a meteor that I'm seeing, but it had been stationary prior to that, and then as it got, uh, no, it's cultist, oh, he fled. Um, as it got lower, it suddenly veered to the right, and um, went behind a tree, and I, I leaned around, I could see it behind the tree. Um, but it kind of, you know, moved around in weird ways. It was clearly not a plane, there's no denying that, it wasn't a plane. It did start flashing different colors, white and red, but it was not the usual you know, flicker you get from a plane light. A, a plane couldn't fly in that kind of fashion, B, not the usual flicker you'd get. Um, definitely not a helicopter. No helicopter would be that maneuverable. I'm, you know, admittedly 99% sure it was a drone. Somebody had a drone out for a fucking flight for some reason. Um, if this had been 20 years ago, or even maybe 12 years ago or something, when drones were unheard of, I'd be absolutely 100% certain I'd seen an alien craft because it was, it moved in such weird ways. It had a weird, it wasn't a flicker of light. It just sort of, shifted colors. I don't know how to put it. It was just a, a, a very smooth transition of color between white and red. Um, once, it, once it started doing it, it didn't do it at first. And, uh, yeah. Eventually I lost sight of it. It flew down behind some high-rises in the distance, or down around some high-rises in the distance, and then I kind of lost track of it. Waited for it to come back, didn't see it again. So I imagine it was somebody's drone, but still, it was a really cool thing to see. It was the, the classic experience you would have heard, you know, 20 years ago described as a certain UFO sighting, you know? That was neat. And Tanya should have been impressed. <clears throat> have we seen the stairs? Am I just fucking not paying attention? Where's my M key? We saw stairs a long time ago, guys. Probably while I was relaying my story about a UFO. Somewhere back here we saw it. A 
to the north. Walked right on past it. As I do. Right here. Alright, there we go. Down we go. Level 2, we're going to try to get to the first, again, stairs down to the next level. Unless we check the level feeling first and it says, like, hey, there's, there's booty on this here level. <laughs> Black Mega. Something else I just noticed. Huh, let's look at this. The, uh, Oh, I guess not. I thought it was. I thought the text from the recall was overwriting the text from our character sheet. It's not. It's just overwriting the uh, the green. But you can see right here is a is a beautiful example. Look how clearly and easily we can read the text that is atop the the black of the map, and how difficult it becomes to read as soon as it overlaps the green. If you ever see this, Mr. Anderson, at least allow the option to get rid of that Cthulian illustration in the background background I would love it just to be black oh our lamp went out fixed a bug in caverns yesterday with lamp oil where you um you could refuel a lamp, but you could only refuel it if it was turned off first. Which may in real life be a, a safe practice, but it wasn't intentional. And it doesn't say that in the description. It doesn't say you have to, it'll only refuel turned off lamps. So I fixed it, among other things. Still, uh, still, still bug fixing when I can. Still working on Stop the Saturnian. Still working on the leaderboards for Stop the Saturnian. Finally got it yesterday so that um, it will upload a score to the leaderboard only if you don't already have a score or if you're current score is better than the one you have on the leaderboard. Um, that took me a while to figure out. Um, there are no... There's just no damned uh, documentation on how to do this shit, so it's a lot of trial and error. Um, but I did finally get it working. I was quite pleased. That's the, that's the biggest step. So today's task... Today's tasks, if I... Uh, when, when I get around to it, is... Um, I'd say the first one I'm going to try to do is also, I also wanted to upload, not just, it, it already has your name, your, your Steam username, and it already has the score you got. I'd like it to upload as well the difficulty you played at, if I can figure out how to do that. And then just, it'll have that. And then the final step really is just allow you to display the, uh, not the final step, the next step is to allow you to display your leaderboard setting and the, and the few surrounding you at the click of a button in the high scores menu. And then after that, um, Maybe some other buttons to say, can I see my friend's scores? Or can I see, uh, you know, the top scores or whatever. And then we'll be done with leaderboard shit, and I'll be pleased because I implemented something that I did not think I'd have the, um... I didn't think I'd be able to figure it out. It seemed daunting, and it, as did the entire Unity process, and the entire, certainly the Steam achievement process initially felt very intimidating. Maybe um, what I used to call invisible what's it? Maybe you think these are uh, clear, clear mushrooms, or whatever they're called, clear fungus. Novice mage. Still looking for a staircase, and I probably already walked past one. Let's double check. Yep, I did. Let's go right back. Let's do a control F. So now how you do it? How you do level level feeling? How you feel here is capital H here. You are in the sewers under Dilephilim. What a boring place. And what meager pickings. Alright. Let's, uh, let's head down to level 3 then. <clears throat> down we go. Okay. Okie okay, boys. 
when I was quite young, maybe... Let's grab that. Not going down to level 4 yet. Let's explore this level for now. When I was maybe 10, probably when I was 10, actually, uh, I was at... Uh, my, my, my father used to belong to a, a lodge. I guess a hunting lodge, but we didn't hunt. He hunted before I was born. Then decided he didn't like it anymore. And I, I'm not a... Despite having spent four years in the army, I am not a... I don't enjoy killing, um, so I have no desire to hunt. Um, but... Soft leather armor, we'll carry it for now. But when we were up at that hunting lodge, one day my my uncle... Uh, said to myself and my... My brother and my cousin in his... Uh, he had a very, a very classically southwestern Ontario accent. And I... I I retained what he said to this day, even though it was not of you know, particular import, and it was just, Okay, boys, let's go catch us some big black bass. And to this day, you know, whatever how many years it is later, 38 years later, I still walk around spouting that every once in a while to my to my wife's chagrin. She found it entertaining at first, I think after, after we've been married for 10 years, so I guess after after 12 years of togetherness, she's like, enough with the okay, boys. Or she'll finish it for me. I'll say, okay, boys. She'll be like, let's go get you some big black bess. But in a less masculine voice. Misty potion. Another short bow. Let's carry it in case it's magical. Oh, that was a trap, damn it. A dart trap. Did it get our strength again? No, what did it do? Oh, I disarmed it. I, I haven't figured out how to do previous messages, have I? View game help. Show last message. Oh. Show pre shift P, not, not control P in this one. Oh, moving slower. Okay, the dark trap made us move slower. Wildcat. Let's just quaff that because it's food. You feel very strong. You feel very smart. You feel very. What the hell? Did I drink the wrong thing? Does slime mold juice do all that to you? What? What just happened? Is is slime mold juice like the most magical and wonderful thing in the universe in Kathang Band? What the frick? Uh let's let's try shift B. Apparently, it, was, it, it gave us plus one to all of our stats. Is that possible? I thought slime mold juice was just, here's a little bit of food for you. Have I been using it wrong in Angband all these years? What the fuck was that? I was about to tell you something else, too. I can't remember what it was now. Right before that happened. Are we gonna die to fucking spiders, guys? Did I colossally fuck up here? I can always read our phase door if we have to. Oh, I remember what I was going to tell you, randomly, because sharing random information about my life is how I fill an hour of content. Um, we saw the wildcat back there. I was just saying to Tanya this morning, there was some, or yesterday, there was a there was a commercial that came on with, I don't know, it was Philadelphia cream cheese or something, where some woman eats the cheese and then she's like floating in the sky, and like that's, that's what it's meant to feel like, you know? That's the, the sales pitch is, eat this cheese and you'll feel like you're floating in the sky. And I was saying, I remember when I was a kid, and I would have taken that ad as literal, like if I eat that cream cheese, I will literally fly into the heavens. Because um, I remember there was a, there was there were shoes, there were sneakers or running shoes called uh, Wildcat sneakers, and the commercials constantly depicted little boys donning these sneakers, and then they'd come to a fence or something, and then you'd hear like the sound of a wildcat, and they would jump in slow motion over the fence, like six foot fence, they'd hurdle it. And I truly assumed these are fucking shoes that will allow you to jump. 
ungodly distances. I wanted those shoes so goddamn bad. My parents kept trying to tell me they won't really do that. And I was like, no, you're wrong. I saw it. I saw it on TV. There's no such thing as a lie on TV. Let's drop our oily booze. Oh, yeah, maybe I already quashed it. Maybe we, we squelched it as soon as we uh, stepped on it. Well, I'm certainly glad we didn't just move down to the next level. Let's look for more slime mold juice, man. That's the greatest goddamn thing man ever invented. We also went up a level at some point. I didn't quite notice when. Might have been when we drank the slime mold juice. I don't know. Our strength is back down again. What happened there? It was at 22 a second ago. Let's go to a shift uh, P. Might be a little late. Fighting a bunch of them. Brown, speckled, blah, blah, blah. Was it temporary? No. Most of my other stats remain up. My, constant, my charisma is still 16. I think it was 16 when I, when I commented. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Not sure why my strength is down now. Dark blue potion. Need 162 more to get up a level. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Follow me. The green dude can uh, sap our armor. So let's go to here and fire arrows at him. I thought I had 20 of them. I haven't fired yet, have I? Was it N? I've already forgotten. Not hurting him quite as much as I would hoped with these things, but doing something. All right, he's running. As long as he doesn't land a blow on me, I've done what I wanted to do. There we go. Took a lot of arrows, but it worked. Sure, red worm masses can do. They might be fiery. They might be able to burn up your stuff. I'll, uh, next time we see them, I'll, I'll check it out if I, if I've, if this character's learned it yet. Look at that. The old, uh, you know, Yeek Band couldn't put the map on, or it was Hell Band couldn't put the map on at all. And this one has like a tiny little map. If you have the extra screen real estate, I guess he has to account for different uh, sizes. But I'm like different sizes of resolution. But like, if you have the extra screen real estate, why not make that map more? Fulsome, you know. Instantly picked it up and knew it was average. We'll drop it if we need to. Let's go get the potion. I'm all about potions now that we had that slime mold juice.
Well, let's go down to the level. Uh, though, we don't have a word of recall, man. Like, we're just getting down to the point where it's like, well, how are we going to get back up? How are we doing for inventory, man? We do have a lot of shit to get rid of. I'm going to suggest we climb back up and hope we can buy a word of recall. At least one. Preferably two. How do I get out of here? Who are you? A scruffy looking hobbit. Aren't you usually blue? Ooh, a lead plated wand. Let's grab that. Alright, guys, back to the surface it is. First up staircase we find, we will take. Rusty wand, nice. Hazy potion, nice. Stupid novice mage. That's a down staircase, unfortunately. Man, we're getting all kinds of potions. This is great. Oh, we're weak. We're weak from hunger, for God's sake. I didn't even notice. Are we wearing any rings or anything? Ring of fear resistance we still have on. Oh, that's creeping copper coins. Another rusty wand. It's good we can sell one and find out what the other one, you know, retain the other one or not, as the case may be. Again, just double check we haven't already seen the stairs because I won't note them. They're just background noise. I was taught in um, university, I went to, I, I got a Bachelor of Fine Arts in acting. So, studied theater, I guess, mostly. We did a little bit of film stuff. Mostly it was theater. And I remember one professor drilling into me, don't bother reading stage direction for some reason. And uh, it's... Oh, here we go. It's stuck. So it's just like... Um, oh! I thought we were deeper than that. Um, it's just like... The stairs. Like, I just don't... I don't see them. I don't see stage direction. I was reading a script of... Uh, well, Tanya's working on a script, and I've been helping her with it. I, I wrote some of it earlier on, and then she's been working on new drafts. Um, and she gave it to me recently, and I, I made a comment about, you know, how do we know X? And she's like, well, it's right there. Did you read, not read it? And I was like, oh, I, I, I literally do not see stage direction. If a character doesn't say it, it, does not, it doesn't happen. It's invisible to me. Um, how are we... Uh, what am I doing here? All right, let's go to here... Fucking cannot read, but we're looking for a scroll of wor word of recall. I find this really hard to read, like pain literally painful on the eyes. Other than that, I'm really liking this variant. Let's sell C, whatever that is, a gloopy, gloopy green potion, I think is what it said. Yeah. Slow poison, okay. <laughs> sell. C, a misty potion. Yep. Detect invisible, got it. Magenta potion. Weakness. We have two of these, so hopefully they're good. Well, I didn't mean to sell them two. No. No. Sell. C. One. I, um... I do, as I said, I, I, I like variants of the game where you can still sell stuff in the shops. To me, that's very important. I don't like it giving away. I think it was a mistake to remove that. But I do not like the haggling anymore. Like, that's just... I'm over, I'm over the haggling, so I'm glad that doesn't include it. Although, I would like to have the option to turn it on if I wanted to. Just heat. Learning a lot of potions here, guys. This is great. Cure light wounds. Okay, got it. 
hazy potion. He's a hazy shade of potion. Icor potion. What I used to call Icor. Before learning his true name. Alright, man, I saw the scrolls too. Not gonna use them until I know what they are. Light scene. No, no pun intended. <laughs> Rumor, I don't give a shit about those. Maybe I should. Oh, he'll buy, like, anything here. I was selling the damned, uh, while we're here, I was selling the damned soft leather armor. I will sell him the extra brass lantern. Sell him the main gauche. Main gauche. Merci. Uh, I forget how to say sell. Acheter is buy. How the hell do we say uh, we, we will sell? I don't remember how to say sell. In front. In French. F. You haven't got room. Okay. Let's go to a different seven store. A lot of pawnbrokers here. Fuck, I cannot read that. Does he have a word of recall? Literally, holding up my hand to cover the blue writing, because the blue writing, even in the periphery of my vision, causes physical pain in my eyeballs. Sell. I think my brain is automatically trying to process what that says, and it's like, nope, can't read that. I note... Ah, I don't want to do this. Let's see if we have any identifies first, and then we will do it if we don't. Fucking cannot read it. I could probably get that. Damn, let's get that ring of FC Invisible. Purchase. Oh, we can't yet. We might be able to if we can find a, an identify scroll and sell these things proper, you know? But I don't think we can. This is allegedly sooner or later my house. No, this is a hall of records, whatever the fuck that means. What can we do in there? View racial heroes, view classers. You can't buy the house here. Um, I don't, I don't know what that means. View racial heroes and view classers. Oh, maybe we'll go try it in a second. As long as it doesn't cost money. Sell. The extra short bow. 39, good enough. Let's sell. Nothing else here. Well, we're not going to get a scroll of identify, guys. It's not going to happen. Purchase B, 2, 3, even. We're also not going to get a, a word of recall. Doesn't that bug you? Doesn't that make you just want to bite your own hand off and eat it? That's what I do when I'm frustrated. Um. Oh, fuck. No. Probably one of those arrows got burned by one of those, like, red worm masses. It probably was fiery and it probably burned up one of my arrows, and I just wasn't paying enough attention to note it. Well, we're going to sell the named wands. At least one of them. I, one thing I do note that is weird. Oh, look at that. We got a named halberd here. Man me. Just a wee bit out of my price range. Let's sell the lead plate of wand. And regret it as soon as we do so. Confused monster. All right. Don't fucking mock me with your laughter, you son of a bitch. Um. Well, we're going to do it again. Now here's what I'm noticing. We have Rusty Wand and Rusty Wand. Is it because they have two different charges that they're not stacking? He did rewrite this... He rewrote this code from scratch in C-sharp um, completely when he made this version of Cathang Band. So maybe he couldn't figure out how to... I don't know, stack... Like, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Let's sell G. Sleep Monster. So we know what it is now. Let's sell the other one anyway. I know it's worthwhile, but I'd rather have that ring of C invisible. That's it? It will allow me to buy what I want to buy. So, acceptable. Uh... 
purchase F. Yep. Let's wear F. Love it. As always, one of my first goals is to get the ability to see invisible. Um, guys, there's nothing left to do. We've got enough rations. We maybe use some more flask of oil, but not really. I guess we're going back down. I would love to find a word of recall. Try and get down as fast as we can, as deep as we can. Wildcat. Here we go. What are you? No, yeah. With scimitar with word T on it? Welcome to level 10. Do we get our... We don't get our stats back anymore when we level up. Did you notice that? Our strength is still 20. Doesn't happen anymore. You actually gotta buy the shit. Alright, well, good to know. Um, let's examine F if we can. No, not fire. Shift I? I've forgotten again. How do we look at something in our backpack? I, is it X? Examine which item? Um, F. When we picked it up, it had a bracket T. Like, does that indicate it can be used to tunnel? Is that what that means? Don't want that. Oh, I squelched it. Don't have a pick. Don't have a word of recall. Don't have any identifies. Make sure there's no more lurking here. Those guys can get out of control fast. Just ask any second grade teacher. Well, not this warrior. Certainly not the challenge I thought he was with my Cyclops. Oh, do we fall through with something? Yeah, what depth are we at? Yeah, I think we fell through something. Let's do shift P. You fell through a trap door. All right, fair enough. I got us down here. Fine by me. Barely notices. Well, let's not waste those. He can break my potions, so I'm gonna be a little careful. I don't think he did. I think that's what Frost does, it shatters your potions. If and I remember correctly. Wrong kind of stairs. I want to go down one more level. Carry it for now. Whoa. I am enjoying this variant. Um, we haven't seen a lot to merit the name Kathang Band yet. I know that changes eventually. Um, and we haven't even seen much of what this variant has to offer because we're just playing it like Angband right now, right? We're just diving into the current dungeon. But, um... That said, I do, I do like this variant so far. We're not wearing anything in our head. Let's wear the, uh... Hard leather cap. Is that a function of being a warrior? We're detecting, like, we're getting a feeling about the things we're carrying really fast. Is that because we're a warrior? Is that, like, something they did to beef up the class? Warrior is, of course, a for human warrior. Is of course, the natural, the very first thing I played in, uh... in Angband back in the day. Still have that game ongoing somewhere on a disc. Um... But I do know that, as a rule, certainly in Moria, and then later, I think in Angband, they were always considered like the, they were, they were considered a less playable class. Um, you know, they're easier to get into, they're less easy to win with, as I understand it, for various reasons. Um, that's why Morgul introduced its, um, its ability for warriors to sever off attacks of enemy monsters to you know, try and beef up the class. Oh, here we go, for Christ's sake. 
I should have checked the level feeling before I did that. Whoa! What are we doing here, guys? Why do I know this whole map? Is this the bottom? Have I reached a... Even if it's one of these kind of maps where we have different, you know, like in Hellband, we, as we saw a level like this, I believe, where we had different things scattered, rooms scattered about. Um, you don't usually know the map when you arrive. I'm not objecting. I'll go so far as to say I'm intrigued. But I'm a little nervous. It makes me think this might be the bottom. I think there's a boss at the bottom of every dungeon, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's just randomly a map like this. But then why do we... Why do we get to see... Let's eat this right away. Let's quaff it. See if it does it again. That tastes awful. You feel like... It may have random effects. That tastes awful. You feel like a hero. You feel better. So it was healing. Like I guess it has random effects. Well, next time we get it, we'll inspect it. So let's not, not let him near us. Oh, here's a gray mold first. Let's not let him near us. See, if they're average, then aren't they automatically just plus four, plus, plus zero, plus zero? Why aren't they stacking? It's fire eye. Dropped a wand as well. What kind of wand? Oh, confused monster. We got it back. Good to have that in our back pocket. Nice. The only thing I don't like about seeing this map at the outset is that I... Oh, nice. I, um... Like, I don't know where we've explored and where we haven't, you know? I'm going to get confused about that. Phase door I like. Carry them for now. Carry it for now. Obviously it's not the bottom of the dungeon, we can go further. But I'm gonna keep exploring this level first. We're finding a lot of good shit. Problematic fast. This became problematic, guys. We might be leaving. I guess we're done here. I should have fired them. That would have been the proper thing to do. It could have killed them fast. I don't know how deep this dungeon goes. My fear is if it goes too deep. And we have to trek all our way back out. We could find ourselves in a spot of trouble. I'm going to use the wand. I shouldn't have sold that other one for so cheap. I should have used it on a townsperson first and then... Uh, <laughs> very evilly should have used it on a townsperson first and then sold it. See, even when we look at this, uh, this gnome skeleton, you'll see square bracket T asterisk. The hell's that mean? What does that signify? Thoughts? To you. I think we've killed a lot of you, haven't we? You were the thing my Cyclops killed first on entering the dungeon before and got us like up four levels in, with one kill. You feel there's something special about this level. Well, let's find out what that is. Maybe again, maybe we're at the bottom. That is five levels deep would not surprise me. And the special thing may be that we're about to get our ass kicked by a boss. Or... I don't know, maybe this is, uh... Fucking poisoned. Oh, it's gone. Or maybe there's something wonderful here, like a magical item. What are you... Can these guys paralyze me? 
We don't know. It woke up. Now it's dead. Now it sleeps forevermore. A lot of fucking gnomes died down here. It's a bad place to be a gnome. You hit a teleport trap or something? You hit a teleport trap. It's starting to feel more like standard Angman to me now, like I'm just walking around killing everything but bumping into it. That's the way I always played a lot of... Certainly the early levels with any character. With a Paladin or whatnot. I think that's the reason I prefer Paladin so much, is that I actually do like the basic bump-to-attack functionality. I like I like just walking around kicking ass, but I also like getting spells every time I level up to make myself feel... Make it feel more like I'm, you know, getting a special reward for leveling up. You don't get that with a fighter. Aside from a hit point boost, you don't get a lot. Or if you do, it's all passives. I don't mind passives in games. I usually, actually usually seek them out when it's time to to pick a perk or something. But um, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I prefer paladins is to have the the new abilities come into play. Ooh, that was a glutton ghost. I believe. Ah, I can see you because of my ring. You son of a bitch. I thought he'd drop food. But of course he would have eaten that food. He's like the cookie monster. Novice rogue. Let's get him before he steals our shit. Don't need it, but we can sell it. Let's carry it for now. I'll drop it if we need to. Hope you guys are at least hearing this music. It's quite atmospheric. Let's use one, one of the wands and stats before we forget, by the way, as well. Next time you meet a monster. Let's use it right now. Aim the bronze wand. Cave lizard. Is it also a. Oh, it's a wand of wonder. Scene. Random effects. Much like our slime bulb juice. Apparently. Let's use a dogwood staff. You failed to use it probably. Let's try again. The creeping silver coins misses you. What do we what do we accomplish there? Do we know? A soft leather arm is cursed. We don't know what the staff does. If it's a staff of curing, I could probably use it right now, but whatever. I know the eye is there. Look how unafraid I am. AKA, look how foolish I am. AKA, look how little I learned my lessons. I like having the strength, man. I can pick up everything and not get slowed at all. That's nice. Nothing there. Let's refuel our lantern. B. Uh. 
carry it for now. That'd be the teleport trap, more than likely. I'll take it. This is not the bottom. The special thing about this level is not that it's the bottom. I don't know what's special about it. So far, nothing discernible. Let me drop that cursed um, soft leather armor. And let me look at my backpack again, see if you've noted anything. Everything's average, except for the iron shots. Let's drop those. Drop T. 32. I mean, granted, they're cursed. I can just sell them. That's all I was going to do with them anyway, but let's drop them anyway. Um, unless the staff is, like, the special thing. So far, we've not found anything amazing. Even the scimitar is but average. What are we using right now? What are we currently using? A broadsword, which does 2d5 and is 15 pounds. A scimitar is 2d5 and weighs 13 pounds. So might as well we wield it. Weighs a little bit less. We'll sell the broadsword. Unless you can only sell your starting equipment for one gold piece or something. I hate it when it does that. Why would your starting equipment be worth anything less? Might run out of food if we're not careful down here, man. The fuck is so special about this level? Welcome to level 11. That's pretty sweet. Still did not get our strength back, so you don't get it on level up for sure. Guys, I'm afraid I'm just not discerning what's what I'm supposed to discern. I'm chronically unobservant, but I... I I just haven't noticed anything whatsoever of note about this level. Hopefully it's, you know, we're closing in on whatever's special because we're uh, running out of spaces to explore. What was that? Okay, here's some orcs and shit. That's a little bit special and terrifying. Snagas, I guess they're snagas. And... Disenchant her eye. Come back in and deal with them in a minute. Nibelung. Uh, Snaggers are coming for me, but they're not that hard to dispatch, I don't think. We are kind of cornered here. We do have the scroll of um, Phase Door if we need it. Violet potion, nice. I'm not sure what a Nibelung is. Is it a dwarf? Night dwarves. Kind of neat. Collecting new riches for their collection. He's normally found at level 6 and moves at normal speed. A kill of him is worth 3 for me. Usually appears in groups. He can pick up objects. He may carry an object or treasure, etc. Oh, you say, sorry, one other thing. He can hit to attack. He can touch to steal gold. We don't want that to happen. Ooh, a new ring. Maybe that ring was the thing. Get that scroll. Get that Talwar, I guess. Do that dagger. I don't want to kill a disenchanter eye. If I can avoid it, I don't want to go near it. For fear it'll disenchant my shit. I suppose I could hit it with arrows. Let's go back and hit it with arrows in case it drops you know, something special. 
X. We don't have any mana points for him to drain after all. So as long as we're gonna get near him, he can't really hurt us. Again, was it X? Yeah. No, don't examine, you son of a bitch. Fire X. How much is he worth, by the way, just for the sake of knowing? We don't know. Because we haven't killed one, I guess. I didn't note it. Well, any of the weapons we picked up could be a contender for, like, the special thing, right? Any of them could be the magic item we're here to get. If, if that's what special means, if there's a special magic item. No room for bamboo staff. Well, fuck that action. Let's drop... What do we know is that? Let's drop the whip. Average whip I don't need. Let's get this. Guys, is that it? Is there anything else we missed? I don't think so. We're down so deep, I kind of want to continue diving. But we're, the food is starting to dwindle. The fuel is starting to dwindle. And we don't have any guaranteed way to get back up. What do we do? I'll tell you what, it's been just about an hour. Why don't I contemplate that? Why don't I head out and I'll think about it today? Uh, I would say give me your advice, but the truth is by the time you've given me your advice, I'll have moved on. This is what, this uh, episode, I think, will come out tomorrow. So what you're seeing, what you're watching today while I record this, if you're if you're watching them each day as they come up, is, is yesterday's video or whatever. Um, so, you can't really give me advice, because by the time this goes up, I will have already played the next round, probably. Or I will be about to play the next round, one of the two. I don't know. Let me think on it. Alright, I'm gone for now, guys. You all have a great day. I'm going to go do some work on stuff. This Saturnians. Um, that's about it. Let's control S, just in case. No. Let's do... F I don't know. I don't remember how to do this. How do we do this? Escape. You want to save and quit? Yes. Nice and easy. Okay, there we go. A sadist, the level 11 half titan warrior, killed today. No, I read that wrong. What? Oh, killed today by nobody yet. That's a weird fucking sentence. <laughs> On level 5 of the sewers under Dilith Lean. There we go. And there we go, guys. That's it. Um, talk to you all soon. If I can figure out how to how do I get out of this now, there's another fine mess I've gotten myself into. Does that work? Apparently not. I'll just stop recording.